Hello everybody, my name is Nuvola and welcome to another video. Today's video is an automatic sugarcane farm using a sweeper. This looks a little bit daunting, but trust me, it's very simple and this will produce all the sugarcane you'll ever need in your survival world. Without further ado, let's head into it. Let's go! First, here's the layout of the build. We're gonna start by digging out the entire area in between the stone bricks and spruce planks by two blocks. You then want to go to the right side of the build, which is the big building, and three blocks from the outside, you want to place a double chest in the ground. Then we're going to create a row of hoppers, all facing into this double chest. Behind these hoppers, place a wall of dirt and also place it above the double chest. On the other side, so that's the small building, you also want to create a wall of dirt. Then in the middle, you want to dig out a trench of two blocks deep and place redstone torches underneath. Fill it back up using some dirt. It's then time to place the rail system. From this overview, you can easily spot how I place these. And you want to make sure that on both ends of the rail, there is a powered rail. So that when you place your hopper minecart, it will go back onto the track. And so it will infinitely move down the track and will pick up all of the sugar cane that is produced by your farm. Next up, you want to create a dirt layer on top. We will now start creating the dropper system, which will transport your sugarcane upstairs. Start by creating some room. You also need some extra room for the dropper mechanism. Place down the dropper facing into the corner of the build. Behind the dropper facing into this dropper, place a row of hoppers from underneath the double chest. Behind this dropper, we're going to create a system which will automatically drop the sugarcane into a water column, which we'll create later on. Behind the first hopper going into the dropper, place a solid block. Behind that solid block, you want to place a comparator, and behind that comparator, we'll place another solid block. Place a redstone dust behind that, and a solid block next to that. Then, place a redstone repeater facing towards the hopper, Place a redstone dust and place an observer facing into this redstone dust. After that, you can fill in this area as well. In front of the dropper, you want to place a soul sand in the ground. And after that, you can fill in the entire hole, except for this corner on top of the soul soil. Now, using some spruce slabs at the bottom layer, we will create the trenches in which we'll place down the water. Next to these trenches, we'll place sugarcane and later on. First, we're going to create the sweeper system. On the small building side, place an obsidian block right here with a redstone torch to the side of it. Place an obsidian block on top of that, excuse me for the glitch. Then place a redstone repeater on top of the lower obsidian block and set it to 4 ticks. Put a lever behind it and flip it. The redstone should turn off. In front of the top obsidian block, we want to place an observer facing outwards. In the end, it should look like this. Straight in front of the other part of the sweeping system, we want to place down three glass blocks like this, with an obsidian block on top. Next to this obsidian block, you want to place an observer facing towards the back. And in front of this obsidian block, you want to place a sticky piston. Place a slime block in front of this piston and one to the back of the observer. You then want to place another sticky piston facing into this slime block, which is to the back of the observer. And you want to place an observer facing the front 
in front of this other slime block which is sticking to the sticky piston. Using slime blocks go all the way to the side of the build and end with a glass block. Do this on the other side as well and it should end up looking like this. Behind this back observer we're going to create a hopper clock. This hopper clock will ensure that the sweeping system is sent out every few minutes, breaking any sugarcane that has grown in that time. Place down two hoppers facing into each other. Behind these hoppers, place comparators facing into them. Behind these comparators, place two building blocks with a redstone dust on top. And then place two sticky pistons next to this redstone dust facing towards the hoppers. In between the pistons we will place a redstone block and in one of these hoppers place down five full stacks of let's say dirt or another material which you have a lot of and you don't need. You will notice that it starts counting down. Once all of the filler items are sent through to the other hopper the sticky pistons will actually flip the redstone block to the other side. We need that process to flip a trapdoor which is stuck to the observer. When the trapdoor flips, the observer notices this and it sends off the sweeper. The return system will automatically send it back. You can delete these glass blocks because you will notice that one of them will stick to the slime block and we don't want that. We're actually gonna start on the decoration already a little bit. Place down spruce fences along the side with some leaves on top. These will make sure that all the sugarcane that's broken stays within the bounding box of your rail system which is below, such that all the sugarcane is grabbed by the hopper minecart. Plant your sugarcane and you now actually have a working farm. However, it's not gonna grab a lot of sugarcane yet. We will now start with the buildings, starting with the smaller one, which will surround the return system. Start by placing stripped spruce logs, four blocks high on each corner, and fill in the walls using stone bricks and natural stone. You want to create windows using some spruce fences in the side of the building, and you want to leave some room for a doorway on the back side. Next to the return system, you want to place a wall of leaves of two blocks high. The sweeping system will actually push the sugarcane it breaks all the way to the end sometimes. And this wall will make sure that the sugarcane is kept in between the bounding box of the hopper minecart which runs underneath. So this wall is necessary, otherwise your farm will hardly produce any sugarcane. After that we'll work on the roof which is a simple stair, upside down stair, stair kind of roof. Fill it in using some deep slate brick stairs and on top you want to alternate spruce slabs and spruce trap doors to give it a little bit more detail. At the edge of the roof place a spruce fence with a spruce trap door on top and you can place trap doors on top of the upside down stairs alongside the roof as well. Finally, you can hang some lanterns off of these spruce fences. And that's actually the building on the far side. It's now time to start on the big building. Start by placing stripped spruce pillars of 5 blocks high. Connect these with beams on the 5th level. On the outside, place upside down stairs on the top level. And place another 5 stripped spruce logs on top. Connect these via beams as well. On the long side you also want to create an extra beam. And you want to create two extra pillars. On this first floor we're also going to put all of our output chests. So we need to create a water column going all the way up to the first floor from the soul sand down below. For now create a chute using some stone bricks. After that you can fill in the floor.
After that, you can fill in the walls using some stone bricks and natural stone on the ground floor. Do this on three sides, because inside of the build, the sweeper needs to go through, so we don't need a wall here. You can place some upside down stairs to make it a little bit more sturdy. Then, on the side, create a ledge on which we'll build the wall for the upper floor, using some spruce slabs and spruce trapdoors. Using some stripped oak wood and some oak planks, create walls on the upper floor. And in these walls, we will create windows. Create windows using some spruce fences and put some leaves in front of it with some spruce trapdoors below and some spruce signs to the side of them. Place some oak trapdoors as shutters. Use spruce fence gates and open them in front of the top spruce fence with some extinguished campfires on top. Now you want to do this all around except for the far side because we'll create a staircase here later on. Now let's move on to the first floor. First we want to create a staircase going up. Do this by placing 9 stone bricks in a 3x3 pattern and create some spruce pillars to make it a little bit more detailed. Using stone brick stairs and spruce stairs you can go all the way up to the entrance. Now I built this a little bit finicky but it's actually really simple. Using some dirt you can create a little wall on which you can place some spruce trapdoors which you can flip to make it look like a wall. Place a stripped spruce wood in the corner and actually you can place a lantern on top of that. To give the staircase a railing place spruce trapdoors on top of the stone brick stairs facing outward. Then on the outside place spruce trapdoors on the side of these stone brick stairs. Flip them all and as you can see it gives you a nice staircase railing. You can now go up and fill in the wall on this side as well and of course don't forget to put a door in. Use some oak planks to give it a little bit more detail and using some spruce slabs and spruce fences you can give the entrance a little bit more fancy look. Inside of the build fill in the floor using spruce planks but leave the corner open because this is where the bowel column will come up and where we will put down our output chests. And you can make this look however you like. I made it very simple so you can just follow this or you can create your own design. To create the water column you will need 9 buckets of water in your inventory. Place them one by one and you should be transported automatically back up top. In my case I need two buckets of water more to make the water run over the hoppers which will transfer the sugar cane into the output chests. Finally, we need to put a roof on this building as well, which is basically the same roof as on the smaller building. Don't forget to fill in the side walls using some oak planks. And then use some deep slate stairs to fill it in. On top you want to alternate spruce slabs with spruce trapdoors. 
On the edges, you want to place a spruce fence with a spruce trapdoor and hang a lantern below. On the edges of the roof, you can also place a lantern to light up the build a little bit more. Don't forget the entrance to the build as well, and of course inside the build as well. You may have noticed that I forgot this part. You want to obviously fill in the staircase. And as I mentioned, don't forget to light up the inside of the build as well. Finally, you can decorate your build a little bit using some leaves to give it a more overgrown look. This is all up to your own taste. Once you're satisfied with what your farm looks like, you can actually go into the smaller building and flip the switch to turn on the farm again. You will notice that it breaks all of the sugarcane and it will lie all around, but your hopper minecart beneath will pick up all of the sugarcane. Except for the sugarcane which lies on the side. If you want to prevent this from happening, you can place another layer of leaves on this side so that it's three blocks high. If everything is working correctly, then all of your sugarcane should end up in the output chests up top. That's it, your farm is now working. If you like this tutorial, let me know by leaving a like, ask your questions in the comments, I try to answer everything, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Have a great day, and see you in the next video. Cheers everyone!